Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I have uploaded a video. I just came back from Korea and it's been a nice Sakura uh, season when we get there. I'll show a little bit of video right here. It was beautiful. We went to Seoul, Busan and Gyeongju and uh, just to share to you my favorite place is Busan amongst the three cities because for me Seoul is just another Singapore it's another city so yeah if you are from Korea hello your country is beautiful uh, unfortunately we got food poisoned at the end of the trip but that's a story for the next one maybe I'll upload a vlog about the trip hopefully I can because I always say I will but I never did because vlogs are a lot of work more than a video like this so I will try my best if you're interested in it or you can skip it if you don't like but anyway today we are going to talk about three bags that has been launched on the 12th of April I don't know when it might be able to upload this but I just want to keep you posted because a lot of bags especially mainstream bags like this that doesn't have a lot of marketing that's happening in social media uh, really didn't get much attention but this three bags is the perfect epitome of the quiet luxury fashion and i am a fan of that i like bags that is that are very elegant and very minimalistic when it comes to branding so this tree is a bag that you might want if you are into a quiet luxury aesthetics or fashion nowadays um i'm not gonna talk a lot more let us uh, get into it just a quick one if you're new to the channel, my name is Murphy and currently as I'm recording this video, I am a sales advisor here in Louis Vuitton, Singapore and this channel is all about Louis Vuitton products, Louis Vuitton updates, luxury brands in general. So if you are into this kind of things, please do not forget to subscribe to help me grow this channel. Okay, so the first one I am going to talk about is really not a new new bag. It is a new size for a bag. We used to have this size before. I think when, uh, do we? Let me confirm that. But I know a bigger size of this bag before and it has been discontinued. But now we have the Capuchins GM. And uh, right uh, before we launched this, we have BB and MM for the longest time. But now we have it in GM. But this material is not in Torilon leather as you will see as a material of the regular capuchins which I love. I find Torilon leather a very elegant leather to have. Fortunately or unfortunately, it depends on how you look at it. This is a supple texture leather. So it means that it's a softer leather. Um, capuchins is known for being structured, nicely structured. I always say to my client that capuchins is the Birkin of Louis Vuitton because it's a very premium bag. If I have the means to buy one, I would get one. But the price point is really crazy. And now with the Capuchins GM, it is huge. This is a huge bag. And when I say huge, it's huge. I'm not exaggerating. It's um, maybe because I am a short girl, I'm a five feet tall Asian woman. This bag will really look big on me if I wear it. Uh, this is how it looks like when I carry it and uh, I would highly recommend this to people who has good height because it will really look good it will really if you have the model height I think this one will really look good and elegant but for me capuchins BB is the best size for my height and for my structure and for my style it really depends so uh, if you are a huge huge bag person you may like this but for me this is not the the, the best uh, bag size for most of the Asian women. So this is a video of me putting all the things that you can fit inside and it's for you to find out if this is a bag for you. Okay, no one is available to uh, put things for me. So what I did is just I like, put things inside. Uh, inside I put the toiletry uh, 26. So you see how big it is. I'm sorry about the noise. I don't have a proper microphone. So this is how it looks like. If you have an iPad, you can definitely put it inside. And then Zippy Wallet. Uh, Zippy Wallet is here. This is the biggest wallet for Louis Vuitton. So it's safe to say that all your long wallets can fit inside. And of course, I put a mini, mini pochette as well. And 
and uh, safe to say that even if you have three phones you can put it inside there's a zip on the middle where you can put your important things and also there is a small card holder in here maybe your uh, bus pass if you take a bus using this bag and you have two more pockets over here so and the closure is still just like your normal uh, Capuchin's bag so yes this is what fits inside this very huge bag Mm -hmm. really really spacious as i told you and this is how it looks like uh worn and i have this styling of a man and a woman carrying it then again i think oh actually if you are a guy and uh, you are into like the huge brick in bag you might want this for you as for the weight i would have to try it i have to let you know because i haven't tried this bag yet so i have to try how it feels like when it's carried. The strap is a thick strap, so it is actually very comfortable if you decide to put your things inside. The colors available as of the moment is black and beige, and um, I think this is just two are a good neutral color. If you have been watching my video for now, you might predict what I'm going to choose and it's the brown color. My skin color looks very good with tan caramel color, so I always go for that compared to black. I'm not a black person, not your edgy girl. So uh, brown is more dressy, more girly, and, but if you're into black, it also looks beautiful. So the price for this is, drumroll, 12400 12400 I'd I hope you're not surprised because right now the medium size, the MM size is 10,400 and the BB size is 9,600. So uh, it's expected that this is going to be more than 10,000. But as I say, this is a premium bag. I know there are a lot of videos opposing to Capuchin's bag, but maybe it's just me working with Louis Vuitton and seeing the value of it. I think if you're a Louis Vuitton collect collector, your collection is not complete without a capuchins, but I'm not voting for this GM. Go for the MM or BB. Mini is too small. You can't put anything inside in it. So uh, BB is still the most practical size. Now moving on to the second uh, bag that we are going to talk about. And this is called the Low Key. And yes, they don't have anything nicer to call it it's called low-key so obviously probably they are uh, targeting the market of um, quiet luxury people and um, with this low-key it comes with a short handle shoulder bag so this is more for a dressy look this is more for people who has the style of 80s and 90s fashion and uh, this is the first time that it doesn't come with a long strap so the main look of it is really just for it to be a short handle bag and this is how it looks like a photo of my colleague from other store carrying it and uh, there are adjustments of how much length would you want it to be as a shoulder carry but for sure it wouldn't be too long to be a crossbody bag the details is just too simple just that lock with the LV logo in front you still see the logo but not in your face kind of logo so uh, I think this is still considered a simple bag and this is the video of what can you fit inside so this is Evan putting things in the new low-key bag go ahead please this is a coin purse Just putting it inside yep and can you put your phone inside please yep oh that's my phone Yes. Okay. Thank you. The colors available is noir, quartz, and cognac, which is the black, white, and uh, the caramel brown. And uh, for this, I would go for the white. The white really looks beautiful. The brown is also nice. Black is also nice. It's up to your personality and your perception. There's no best color for anyone because people has different tastes and personality. I don't know how many times will I have to tell you this, but if you go for white, please do not ask me if it's going to get dirty because it will. White will get dirty eventually. Now the price is 4800 for a leather bag. It is, um, it is okay actually 
4,800 nowadays bags are 4,000 plus so I'm really really not surprised uh, this material is uh, a su supple leather so one thing that I always get uh, questioned about when it comes to supple leather is that will the leather get scratches easily and if you see it in person this, the material is actually very grainy so you don't have to worry about scratches or anything nowadays Louis Vuitton is very safe with their material they, they don't want any complaints at the end of the day so actually this is a very uh, grainy material when you see it in person but um, overall I think it's a very durable leather and it's still good to invest in the leather than a canvas there's really nothing more I can say about it but this is a very girly um, bag and uh, the the category of people or, or, or clients that will buy it is really for people who are into elegant look people who are into uh, dressy and sophisticated look I think this is the one this will not look very good with very casual outfit so yeah I think the demographics of this bag is really quite limited now the next one that I'm going to talk about is the Hobo MM and uh, I've known a lot of clients that loves Hobo bag and Hobo bag is a bag that can last you a lifetime when it comes to fashion it never goes out of style so uh, Hobo MM is actually something that I think I assume a lot of people are waiting for it is a very it, it is a huge bag when you wear it actually it's uh, it, it's very spacious you can put your laptop 13 inch laptop horizontally in it although I don't have a laptop to try on to fit in but I I think it will let me check the uh, the height of this bag the height of Hobo MM is 13.8 inch so safe to say that the 13 inches laptop can definitely fit inside if you want to use as a office bag now this is a video of me putting things inside just to give you an idea what how big it is It actually looks good when you carry it given that I'm five feet tall it still looks decent if I'm gonna wear it so if you are a huge bag person I think this is a good bag to invest on it's very simple the only detail that you can uh, see a Louis Vuitton logo off is the side buckle and you won't even see it because most probably it's gonna be in your near your armpit or whatever and good news you can adjust the strap up until you can use it as a crossbody bag although I think huge bags are not meant to be crossbodied it doesn't look nice but there are people that can carry it well but for a short woman like me it wouldn't look very good but just to give you an example this is how it looks like on me overall I like this bag to be honest it's simple it's nice it's minimalistic it is quiet luxury fashion so uh, yeah, I think I would suggest this to people who are looking for a lifetime bag uh, to, to wear. Of course, that never happens because girls will always get sick of their bag and wanted another one. I would understand that because I am like that. So <laughs> the price is 5650 It is a huge bag. I think it is as huge as the Capuchin's GM, but it's not as expensive as, as this. So I think the price is still okay for it. It is... I mean, come on guys, but side trunk that is very small is 5150 So 5650 for this bag is actually okay. If you are looking for a huge day-to-day -day bag for your office or work, this is perfect. It looks very elegant. The leather actually looks very expensive in my opinion. And uh, yeah, there's really much, nothing much to say. That's why I said like I combined these three bags. But uh, overall, I like this bag. I would suggest it. I mean I would agree to people who want it because most of the time if I'm not a fan of bag I, I leave it up to the client but for this kind of bag I always 
always propose it. So yeah, that's all I can say. If uh, within the three bag, obviously I like the Hobo MM. Uh, it's not impossible that it may come in PM in the near future, but who knows? Uh, Louis Vuitton never divulges that. It will just come. But uh, yeah, overall, I like the Hobo MM. And uh, let me know which one is your favorite between all these bags. And uh, yeah, as I say again, please uh, suggest any bags to review and um, a topic to review because from time to time, I really get bored with reviewing bags anymore. But here I am <laughs> just to uh, let you know all about this. So yeah, uh, I would have to say goodbye because it is already very late here in Singapore and uh, I will see you on my next video which is I don't know what it is up until now. But yeah, I'll see you on the next